are in the process of carrying out curriculum development for the long courses as requested by our partners. That is the level four courses in the value chains, poultry. And we have had uh, two cohorts. The first cohort, we trained farmers in uh, dairy value chain. Um, that cohort was trained in 2021. We finished with them um, at the end, at the beginning of this year. Um, we had a group of about 60 uh, trainees from uh, two uh, farmer groups. Um, then right now we are training uh, the second cohort. The, this cohort uh, we have about 117 being trained uh, on uh, the poultry value chain and uh, uh, 36 being trained on the fish value chain. For out of our course evaluation, we got positive feedback from our trainees. One of our mandates at Bukura Agricultural College is also to offer extension services to farmers. And uh, through these partnerships, we really are able to uh, achieve that. So we really appreciate this partnership with, with this uh, consortium of, of, of partners. Approach, and uh, as you can see, the bond excavation, because not everybody can find time to come for the long courses. But they require this particular skill to empower them to do something with their lives. So the development partners that we've had on board, the journey that have walked with Bukura until this far, and we're still working with them, is what is empowering the youth and the women of this country. And Bukura will go that direction to enable that happen. That we have uh, more than two partners, and the working relationship has been wonderful. It has been cordial. Uh, they have addressed the issues uh, raised on time. And uh, I think also that mutual respect of each other's roles has come out so conspicuously in this particular program. And we are generally happy about it. Actually, in each of the institutions is a bit unique. Uh, goes beyond just uh, engaging uh, an institution to train for you because most of the time you'll find that you're just uh, contracted, you conduct the training and it ends there. But we're seeing value, be benefits beyond just conducting the training on their behalf. Namnagani project after my training What's next? I've been working with the farmer groups right from 2008. But uh, through the green business, I have for this particular group, I have around 36 farmers. In some times back, we believe that farmers are the most desperate people in the, in, in the region. If they, don't, if they are not well uh, educated as per the current technology, then the production will not be as per expected. We have seen through good feeding in line of uh, dairy, we have good yield, milk yield. To the management, uh, our animals, maybe most of them have been dying every now and then as a result of poor management. I can advise we bring more educative programs how we can embrace uh, influence of the society as per the current technology as we embrace the more uh, production. Finally, I will say that as men, we need more trainings to know that even the women, equitability, they should be given time also to express or to explore what they know better and they get the benefits. And finally, by the end of the day, we share the benefits on the table as a family. Na kwa huo muda, si kuwa najua, atindaa mapia utengenezewa nyumba. Nikaenda tu nao pole pole, si kuwa najua mambo ya nyazi, ata ako kandama vile kanazaliwa, vile kanaeza tunzwa. Ai, tina tukafunzwa. Kama ni maziwa, unakamulia kando, unaipatia kama ni lita mbili, Asubuhi tena lita mbili jioni na sisi tulikuwa tunakunywa yote tunawachia ndama hakuna kitu sasa tulikuwa tunataka tu kabisa kama inawezekana mtuletee tu dairy alafu tuwe na machine yetu na hiyo nyazi ya kutosha utanona nani pesa itakuwa inalilia kwa mtu 
kwa mfuko. Ningeomba wa mama wote ambao wako hapa Bunyore wakuje wanufaike na sisi tushirikiane pamoja tusonge mbele. For now we have uh, 27 members and we have been with them for about uh, a year now mentoring them and um, mentoring them in the side of uh, dairy farming. Uh, we've gone through so many trainings uh, with the Bukura people and I think they've gathered a lot. In a week I get around 1,600 uh, but hii ya nyumba huwa si hesabu which is a lot of money. Nimepanda mboga hiyo ni nini iko nayo ninatengeneza chakula silage kutoka kwa hiyo pesa ninanunua material ya ngombe hata yogurt tunatengeneza sasa zingine yangu ya nyumba mala tunatengeneza tunakunywa. Haya mafunzo hayajaenda bure yamekuwa ya manufaa kwetu. Kwa maana kuna wale ambao walikuwa hata wana ngombe kuna wale ambao walikuwa na ngombe but ule ngombe wa kienyeji lakini kwa saa hii wamefanya effort jo hata mimi mwenyewe sikuwa nimejua kulinda ngombe hata ndama sikuwa nimejua kulinda ngombe lakini kupitia kwa mafundisho nimejua kulinda ngombe unapata umeinuka ju ukichukua hiyo pesa sio unaenda kununua mandazi unaweza kununua kakuku kako ama kambuzi ju unaanzia chini hapa kambuzi alafu kikaka miaka kama mbili unaweza pata ndama ukiuza hizo vitu. Ni tunashukuru kwa kutuanzishia kwa maana tulikuwa tunaweka pesa zetu bila kujua ati tunasema tuko kwa chama lakini hii ina, im, iko na mwelekeo. Walimu walitufundisha mambo kuhusu value addition ya ndizi, jinsi ya kutengeneza crips, jinsi ya kutengeneza gem kutoka kwa ndizi na jinsi ya kupanda ndizi ya tissue culture, jinsi ya maintain hiyo shamba. Ngalipenda kurudisha shukurani sana. Asanti walitufanyia kazi mzuri ambayo imetutoa mahali tulipo na mahali tuko sasa tunaweza kujisikia tuko at least na pesa kidogo ndani ya mfuko mimi ni mama mjane na nimefika mahali sioni kama ninajidharau ninaona hapa hivi karibuni nitakuwa na pesa zangu mfukoni hii group iko na umuhimu sana apart from tu kufunza ukulima tunafunza pia ku na kukopa Hizi tunajifunza unaweza save mahali ukifikisha pesa kiwango fulani unakopa unalipa kwa wakati unaofaa tena unarudia kukopa I think that uh, this has been a positive change to the communities they have adopted the queen business project and uh, from the experience uh, with the different uh, groups I've been um, I feel that uh, they have absorbed it well and uh, they appreciate the training and they feel that they have contributed positively to their engagements in agricultural courses or uh, businesses, anything relating to agriculture. And I feel that the adoption of agriculture in the communities has been uh, of positive impact. And uh, some groups have experienced uh, youths having changing their views in agriculture because at first they felt that they cannot do agriculture at their level they felt that their involvement is mainly on uh, other skills. But with the adoption and the trainings, I believe this is changing their view. And um, there'll be a general change in the community as well.